Hello everybody and welcome back to Dreamfall The Longest Journey. My name is Zenixia and we have just landed in this cave after being attached to a dreamer by Marcus in the fringe back in Stark. Uh, this is Arcadia as you probably guessed. Um, but we... I won't spoil too much but we are not quite here by the traditional means you maybe think that we are. Having watched the previous game, of course you have. So let's just do a little exploring. Now this bit is actually quite difficult if I remember. And I don't know if it's difficult just because I remember it being difficult. Pick up all of the pebbles. Because I was maybe a bit rubbish <laughs> at the time, and hopefully I'm not as rubbish this time. Um, or if it actually is difficult. We will soon find out. I find that a lot with games that I played. Oh, don't see me, 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 don't see me. You see nothing. This is like a sort of a sneaking section, as you can probably imagine. Um, uh, stay over there and do your fishing, sir. Oh no 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 no! Stay there! Oh god no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Help me! Help me! Climb! Climb! Oh, we're good. He can't climb. And now he doesn't give a shit anymore. <laughs> okay, that's fine by me. Oh, I climbed up a climb of a thing, so carry more. Okay. This is apparently not something we can interact with. Hello, sir. Now you will be able to get me because there's stairs up this side, so I'm gonna just. Can I? Let's see if there's something we can focus on. Right. And then we can throw a pebble at this. No, we can't. It's some kind of strange glowing egg. Oh, yeah, we need that egg. Stick. Oh, he's down there, he's down there, he's down there. You can use the rocks to distract these things. Ooh, I don't know how good their hearing is, though. Right, I need this egg. Oh, God, don't glitch out, Zoe. Please. Take the egg. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. He saw me. I heard him. Saving game. Don't save game. I think there's something chasing me. No? Okay, I think it was just because I was absolutely terrible at games when I was younger. <laughs> uh, nope, can't go this way. Okay. It's fine by me. I've got a glowing egg now for some reason. There's no real reason for me to have picked this up that I'm aware of. Well, that the character's aware of, rather, I should say. I know why. <laughs> but that's not the point. Uh, turn the wheel. Because that's with all of these sort of adventure games. Ooh. Do I have to maybe use the egg on it? It looks like a machine with a big wheel and a socket on top. Yes. I wonder what it does and if it still works. As with all of these sort of adventure games, we just fiddle with shit. Because we are an inquisitive person who likes to just touch things. <laughs> Apparently. Ooh. Okay, remember that. Da, 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 da. Remember that, it's a musical puzzle. You don't know that yet. Oh my god, loud. Batman theme tune. Du, 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 du. Sounds like the Batman theme tune. He stole it. Okay. So we did a thing. <laughs> For some reason. Who knows why? Because game. What is this? It's broken. Oh, it's a broken ladder. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, this looks pretty rough, this wall behind you. I'm sure you could manage that. You got some decent boots on. All right, let's head. Oh, okay, there we go. come on. There we are. Let's jump on. Because this is much safer, of course. <laughs> this couldn't possibly lead to my demise. Oh, and she does the turn in midair as well. Impressive. I could not have done that. 
Oh. Classic. We Tomb Raider now. Ah, oh, but there's a shortcut back up now, at least. Easy. We knew for a fact that the second part was not going to fall, despite the fact that the first I one sure did. I sure hope that ladder leads out of this place. Well, let's find out. It's a long way up, though. Oh. Yeah, that's the view I wanted, game. That is exactly the view that I wanted. So anyone with vertigo, I'm sorry. Or anyone who gets like any motion sickness, because that was moving horribly, that camera. Oh. Okay. I still have the pebbles. Uh, what do we do here now? Oh, I know what it is, I know what it is, I know what it is. There was a reason we were allowed to go back down, because we need the glowing egg again. Shit, now I have to climb down this ladder again. Sorry, folks. We're climbing back down again. I can only apologise for the camera... M oh, God, just look away. Look away. That camera motion is horrible. Anyone like me who's got even mild... motion sickness will be feeling that. <laughs> that is unpleasant. Okay. Now, where was this rope? There. It's a good thing she does all this martial arts and is strong as hell. Take the egg. Apparently the wheel keeps moving regardless. Where is... Oh, there. Uh, excuse me? Game? Do I have to... Well, okay. I guess I have to go this way again. How weird. Apparently I can't climb up the, the rope with the egg, but I can do this with the egg. And this with the egg as well. But rope climbing, no. Not a chance. Apologies to the motion sick again. Just just keep your eyes away from the screen. Just look away, you'll be fine. Oh, it just gets worse when you get up the top there, doesn't it? Whew. I need to lie down after this. Okay, so we needed the egg because of secrets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are semitones. Okay, so it's that one. No, that's wrong. Okay, yeah, it just automatically replays the ones you've done for. So it's this one first. I think it's this one next. Oh no, I think it maybe was supposed to be the middle one. No, yeah, it was the... Yeah, that's wrong. All the way around. My bad. Musical puzzle. It's the, the tone you heard when we opened... When we put the egg back in place. That's it, yeah. And the magical door appears. Oh my word! And the music picks up again with the with the brass flaring.
a wooden wheel. What <laughs> is this place? I a must be dreaming. Wooden wheel. Oh my god. I know where we are. It's locked from the outside. Oh really? Um wasn't expecting that, to be honest. The tunnel just vanished. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was magic. I have lost my pebbles. If you didn't know better, you'd say it's magic. It is magic, you silly woman. A wooden wheel. Okay. What is this place? I must be dreaming. Try it again. Oh. <laughs> All right, just break down someone's door, why don't you? That is rude. That machine looks brand new. It definitely doesn't fit in with the rest of the stuff down yeah, here. Yeah, that's weird. Machines in Arcadia. Pumpkins. All this stuff. It's like something out of a fantasy role-playing game. Self-referential. Oh, well, this isn't really an RPG, I suppose. Although, technically, you are playing a role. Do you recognize where we are, folks? This is a different angle. But this is the same woman. And it's Bryn from Elena. earlier. Visitor. What are you on about, Bryn? She's standing right next to you. Um, hello? Oh. Blessed be the sixth child who startled me. It's been Rima. You speak English. Oh, thank God. Listen, I'm not sure what's hap Speak what? Who are you? Where do you come from? Uh, I... I don't know. I think I'm... I'm dreaming. It's just that no matter what I do, I can't seem to wake up. You haven't really dream. tried. This is no dream, child. Do you need me to pinch your arm? What? No. N no, that's... I'm... The twins, they did something to me. Something... How did you get in? We don't open until midday. Open what? The inn, child. What do you think? Are you soft-witted or... By the balance, you are from... From the other side, aren't you? What? Gracious me. Another shifter. <laughs> Why do they always end up here? Another what? You must go see Minstrel Magda immediately. She will explain everything. Minstrel Magda? Leave now, but be cautious. And don't speak a word of this to anyone. They have ears everywhere. Uh, look, I don't know what's going on. And I don't know what a shifter is or why I'm supposed to see this Magda person and... I understand that you are frightened, child. You don't understand. What? I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I'm almost starting to think that those stories Charlie told me about April Ryan are true. Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Do you know her? I don't no, leave your big bowl I of porridge, man. The name. You need to see Minstrel Magda, child. <sighs> I guess I don't have a choice. Dream or no dream. Where can I find her? She moves around. Put Blind Bob ought to know where she is. Blind He's right Bob. outside. You can't miss him. Blind what a name. Blind Bob, Minstrum Magda, underground cities and strange monsters. I feel like I'm inside some kind of fairy tale. All right. I'll go talk to um, That's Blind it. Bob. You play along. Thank you. What's your name? Benrima Salmon, child. I'm the innkeeper of the Journeyman Inn. If you ever need anything, come see me. I'll help you the best I can. I'm Zoe, and thank you. I'm sure I will see you again. You're the only person I know in this... this place. Can I take his porridge, please? Look at that! There's a whole giant bowl there and he's just left it. Unlike most things in this place, that fireplace feels comfortably familiar. Can we just look through the rest of the inn? No, okay. Hope we don't mind, Ben Rima. We're just... <laughs> Exploring, as is our want. Oh, look at the jaunty fellow coming down the road there. I like him. Hello. I'm 
I'm sorry? What did you just say? Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Damn it, he's not talking now. Arms for oh, he's saying poor old blind bastard with no home no hearth. I'm uh -huh. so sorry, I don't have any money. Ah, well, I'll let you in on a secret, Rose Petal. Blowing Bob's happy don't have no home no hearth. Had Who's those everyone in this game Irish? Them, left to begin a career in beggaring. Now a pauper's life is a king's life. Freedom, fresh air, no strings, no stress, no bleeding taxes. Aren't you cold? You think? But no. Had a bit of an accident with a fire charm when I was a wee lad. Left me permanently temperate. <laughs> it's actually quite pleasant. But what about that whole being blind thing? That can't be good. Oh, that. It's theoretical. Excuse theoretical? Me? I could have been blind. Had an accident with a chemical spell when I was a wee lad. Near burned me eyes out. But it didn't. No, no, not at all. Miss Blind Bob's face by a mile. Could have burned me eyes out, mind you. Could very well have. So I'm theoretically blind. You're a weirdo. Of course, theoretically blind Bob is no proper name for a beggar. So I just use Blind Bob nowadays. That's me, that is. Uh, okay. Hello. Can I ask you a question? You can ask. I might answer. I might not. Fair enough. I'm looking for someone. The innkeeper said you might know. Her name is... Hold it right there, Rose Petal. Tit for tat. Them's the rules. What do you mean? If you want Blind Bob to do you a favour, you do him one first. Sure. Fair enough. What do you how want? this game works? Oh, there's Just the jaunty fellow again! I don't have any money. I well, like Rose Petal, you seem to be cosy with old Ben Rima in there. Ha! Now she makes a robust mulled wine. Just the thing for a cold winter's morning. But Ben Rima, she don't take well to blowing Bob sitting on her doorstep. And she don't willingly part with her wares without recompense of sorts. You want mulled wine? Oh, a bottle would do nicely, Rose Petrel. Mind, it's the good stuff now. Made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Mulled wine made with Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. Zoe must Mullins be so confused right spices. now. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Oh, thanks, Petrel. You've made a theoretically blind man happy. <laughs> So cold, so hungry, so blind. Arms. Let's go back in and say hello. Where is she gone? There. Um, hello? Stop with yes. the silly wave. Oh, <laughs> it's you. What can I do for you, child? Uh, wine. I spoke with Blind Bob, but he wouldn't tell me anything. Ah, oh, yes. Tit for tat. Given a chance to bargain, Blind Bob will take it. What does he want now? Mulled wine. He wants mulled wine made with, um, Mrs. Your memory is so bad, Zoe. Mix. Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. For a beggar, Blind Bob is quite particular. I don't know what to do. If I can't find Minstrel Magda, I can't get home. If I can't get home... Calm down, child. I will help the best I can. I have red wine, and I can heat it up for you, but I'm all out of spices. I was supposed to receive a delivery this morning, but... I love these no overly friendly people. Yet, and I cannot leave the inn to get them myself. Maybe I could pick up the spices for you. You could. I buy my spices from a merchant at the Southgate Market. His is the first stall on the left. When you walk down, I read Avenue. Just tell him Ben Rimei sent you to pick up her order of Mrs. Mullins' mixed spices. And be sure to mention that I'm not happy he did not make his delivery a schedule. Ooh. I will put some wine on the boil while you are away. Thank you so much. You're welcome, child. Run along now. Wait, how do I get to the market? The quickest way would be through Old Town, but they've closed it off this morning. Of course they you have. have to go the long way around. Walk east, towards the tower. When you get to the tower square, go south. That will take you on to Irede Avenue, which leads all the way down to the south gate. East, then south. Okay, thank you. Lovely. I don't have a compass, but you know, we'll work it out. Don't mind me, good sir. Oh, it's Jaunty Fellow again. I want to walk like that. 
Is that all he does? He just walk around all day. I don't remember this part of Mercuria. Alright, well there's the, the enormous tower. That is huge. Hello, sir. Talk to me. I like to come here in the mornings to admire the tower. Isn't it amazing? And to think a decade ago there was only a decrepit temple here. So this is where Vestrum Tobias's temple was, and they built a tower on it. Bastards. Let's just talk to some people for a moment. They say there are new recruits on the way. I'll be glad to see some fresh blood I around here. I like your here. spear. If I'm lucky, I might get transferred somewhere warmer soon. Oh, you, I doubt that. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think it said the head... I'm assuming this is south. This is not quite what the marketplace looked like before. Oh, now... There's some, um... I, I quite like this. There's some really, really stupid signs here, which I can't believe they actually got away with putting in the game. Of these two pubs down here on the right. It's just nonsense. Look at this. The cock and the puss. I mean, that's... that's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> can I look at it, though? I think I can look at it. Yeah, I can. The cock and the, um... Puss. Hmm. The cock and the... Uh... <laughs> it's just, and then the next one is just called the salty semen. <laughs> it's just like, what? The salty semen? Uh, okay. <laughs> it's just... How did they get away with this? It's nonsense. It's, it doesn't even mean that. That's the only two that I'm aware of anyway. But it's, it's it makes me giggle. Ah, hello, sir. Hello. Hello, hello. Ha, what a wonderful morning we're having. How may I be of service today, young lady? Spices. The innkeeper at the journeyman sent me to pick up Although an order to have of nothing. Mrs. Mullins mixed spices. It's for... Mulled wine. Yes. Oh, Ben Rebe boils the best cauldron in town, she does. Absolutely wonderful. I like, I like his voice. Right Fantastic. Next. Hold on. Ben Rebe needs the spices right now. You could just give them to me and I'll deliver them for you. Why, yes. Yes, I could give the spices to you. What a wonderful idea. Saves me from having to deliver them, doesn't it? Fantastic. No problem. None at all. Except... Except what? There's a tiny, tiny problem. Nothing major, nothing that can't be solved. Why, it's, it's barely worth mentioning. If you see, the thing is, I don't actually have any spices at all this morning. I see. Isn't this the spice store? Ben Rime told me to go to the spice store. Well, then you've certainly come to the right place. I sell spices and little else. In fact, I'm the exclusive distributor of Mrs. Mullins in Mercuria. Best spice mixes in the Northlands, or any lands. It's just that, well, my delivery is a, a tiny bit delayed this morning. Really? How delayed? Oh, I'm sure it'll be here any... Quite a bit, to be honest with you. Quite a bit. Where are they? I really need those spices. Can't I get them anywhere else? Where there's a will, or, you know, a spell, there's always a way. Except in this case. This is the only store that carries Mrs. Mellon's mixed spices in Mercuria, I'm afraid. I really do need those spices. Like, now. I wish I could be of more help, young lady, but as long as the ghetto's closed, the carriages are stuck in Burrow Crook. The ghetto? Oh, you're an out-of-towner. Welcome to Mercuria, etc., etc. Wonderful, wonderful. So what about the ghetto? Right. Well, the Azadi have set aside a section of Old Town for the Magicals. That way, they can be with their own. Racism everywhere, them, no matter where they you don't go. bother us. Fantastic. Wonderful. Why can't the carriages come through? Well, once in a while, the Azadi help the Magicals weed out undesirables. They close the ghetto down, search the buildings for criminals and contraband. Sort of spring cleaning, if you will. And your supplier is stuck in 
What? Traffic? On the other side of the ghetto, up Burrow Crook, towards Coalstone Gate. Why, right below the journeyman. I just came from there. Right. So you... Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we help each other out, eh? If you pick up my delivery of Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices, our specialty, and bring them back here, I can give you Ben Rime's order. Sure. Sounds I like a plan. I guess it beats waiting around. Fantastic. You'll want to speak with Harry Kinron. He's a bearded fellow, a tad ornery, but a decent fellow at heart. He'll be up Burrow Crook, right below the journeyman inn. You can't miss him. Ask him for Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices. He'll try and get some money from you, but the order's been paid for already. Guy with a beard, wagons, burrow crook. Okay, I'll try my best. Come right back here with the spices, and I'll give you Ben Rime's order. Wonderful, fantastic. Get your fish, fresh from the ocean. Ugh, fish. What do you mean, ugh, fish? How dare you? You don't like fish? This is the meat stall, selling what appear to be kebabs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there, you big beast. I keep seeing these machines everywhere, but I still don't know what they're used for. Uh, background effect. It's not even attached to anything. Hello. The south gate was where all the business from the harbour came through. Nowadays, that's over by the new harbour, by the west gate. Well, thank you so much for that useless piece of information. By order of the office of the emissary. Everyone is Irish in this game. The ghetto's closed by order of the office of the emissary. Okay. What's mm. inside? Okay. That's the ghetto. It's not a good place for humans. I'd stay away if I were you. Why is it closed? We're cleaning out the trash, confiscating contraband. Magicals don't have any respect for the law. I think you're just a bunch of racists. That's what I think. Nothing to see here, citizen. Move along. Oh, I doubt that. Move along, citizen. I want to see. I won't let me see. What's behind there? There's a cage with a thingy in it. All right. We're going to be rescuing that later. Can I go up there? No, there's a bunch of boxes in the way. There's all these boxes and barrels just casually piled at the bottom of stairs that I want to climb. Highly irritating. How and uh, who thought that was a good idea? It's the kind of nonsense I would come up with to play the game. <laughs> Alright, back round we go, I guess. Very impressive looking title. Oh. What are we doing with this one? He was caught inside the ghetto, selling medicine to the magicals. Oh. You know what that is, don't you? Treason. Treason against the Empire. And Sadir that have your head off. In a second, any humans who get involved with the Magicals are traitors to their race. Wow. That might not warrant an appointment with the Blade here in this godlessless city, but we'll find a way to get you shipped off to Sadir. Move it! Well, that just seems rude. Oh, and they just... Vanish. Okay, they can teleport. Interesting. a lot of walking in this game. <laughs> and once again, as I say, with the without the time skip, it makes it a little awkward. Don't but find me, good sir, madam. I Just don't. Hello. I need to get this book returned to the library, but they've closed off Coalstone Gate for security reasons. Oh, my. No, oh, no, whatever will you do? Well, can I talk to you? Excuse me, what's through this gate? It's closed. Step back. That is not what I, I asked. Haven't stepped forward. You're in violation of Azadi martial law regarding loitering. Move along. Okay, loitering. fine. I won't loiter. You're a weirdo. This is the very fellow. Oh, I like his beard. Huh? But if he's trying to go through that gate. Why are his... whatever those are pulling his cart for facing the opposite direction? The traffic appears to be backed up. No one's getting through. 
Hello. May the six grant me strength. Oh, he's Scottish. As if this morning hasn't been trying enough. Now, what do you want, girl? I... On second thought, don't tell me. I'm not in the mood for idle chatter. But I... He's very Magicals. Scottish. <laughs> Damn ghetto rats. And those rebels. More like terrorists, if you ask me. Not a day goes by without them troublemakers making trouble for the rest of us. They should stick them on a boat and send them out to sea so as they don't bother honest humans trying to make an honest living. He's a racist Call Scottish man. freedom fighters, the terrorists do. But it's because of them that I'm stuck here. Again! <laughs> freedom! <laughs> freedom for who? From what? It's not like the Azadi are keeping us imprisoned. In fact, life's a damn sight better than it was before they came. If this is oppression, I don't want to be liberated. Listen, I... Ye gods. I mean, goddess. There's only one. Blessed be her name, etc. <coughs> you are so annoying. Listen to me. I just spoke with the spice merchant at the Southgate Market. You'll have to wait until they reopen the ghetto, just like everyone else. Well, he sent me to pick up a delivery of, um, Mrs. Mullins' spices. How does she spices? keep forgetting what it's called? What? No, that's, um, all right. It's irregular, but I reckon I can part with it for a fair price. He said it's been paid for already, and that you'd probably try to weasel more money out of me. For the love of... I'll just tell him we'll sort it out when I get down there. Mind you, it could take a while. Doesn't look like they're reopening the ghetto any time soon. I'm sorry, but he said he needs the spices right away. He's out of stock. I keep hearing this buzzing sound in my ear, but I don't see any black flies around. Only you... Can I just beat the shit out of this you guy, please? You can ignore me all you want, but I'm not leaving. If you think you're having a bad day, you should try mine on for size. By the mojals. I mean, by the grace of the six, blessed be their names. If you leave me be, I'll give you the bloody spices. And now, for the love of the goddess and for the sake of my sanity, let me be miserable in peace. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Won't sir. bother you again. Thank you. What a pleasant chap. There's more machines here that appear to be doing nothing. And back we go. We can actually just go in and give the spices straight to Ben Rima. Don't mind me, good sir, madam. But I'm just I kind of feel bad for the spice merchant if you do that, because it means he gets all sad later. He's like, oh, I don't have anything to sell. That's fine. Okay. Just, as I say, this is just the, the padding, padding out of the game by making us walk back and forth through these areas a few times. At least gets gets us used to where we're going, at the very least. If we could move a tad faster, I would be happy, though. Okay, almost there. Why is he... Why are you shouting about it? <laughs> Not right now. Just usually. <laughs> I like it. You're back. How wonderful it is to see you again so soon. Have a nice day. Oh, okay. Why, thank you. Yeah, they the... you have an even nicer one, young lady. They haven't e they haven't in in given in that uh, put in that option to just talk about things you have hey, in your inventory. I got your spices. It's a shame. That's wonderful. Fantastic. What spices? What oh, for crying out? You are Everyone in this game has spices, horrible memories. Remember? Yes, yes. Ah, yes, I remember. Mrs. Mullen's spices. Oh, goodness me. Thank you, young lady. How indescribably wonderful. You're welcome. Now, about Ben Remay's order? Hmm? Uh, who? Uh, oh ben my. Remay. Uh, yes. One pouch of Mrs. Mullen's mixed spices for the best mulled wine in Mercuria. Thank you. About Fantastic. time. Fantastic. Wonderful. Enjoy your day, young lady, and do come back. Spices. We She's got a slightly smaller spices. pouch of spices now. And now we walk all the way back again. <laughs> they do eventually open Old Town. It just takes a little while.
Whoop, I overshot that a little bit. <laughs> it would be nice to live in, like, a magical town, wouldn't it? Or maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with the threat of fireballs and whatnot, probably more... More dangerous than things that you get in Stark. But who knows? It'd be fun to visit. Okay. Don't mind me, good sir. Oh, I shan't. I'm just a Trust me, I shan't. Hey, Ben Reba. Oh, no, hang on. I need to just give it to you, don't I? Yes. Oh, what? Excuse me. Thank you. Oh, my word. Please work. Hello. Thank you. What? Oof. It wasn't easy, but I got the spices. Okay, now that the, okay, it took you long enough, child. Did you get lost? Oh my word! No, but I had to do a lot of running around. It doesn't matter. I have the spices now. Good. There's a pot of red wine in the kitchen. Mix the spices in. Let it boil for a while, and you have mulled wine. Thank you so much. How can she have the I best? Appreciate all your help. Best well, recipe in Mercury with that. All the help I can give you, child. Okay. Oh, I can get it from this side. Spices. Go. Okay, and I'm now teleported to the other side. Fabulous. I've added Mrs. Mullins's mixed spices to the wine. That should be it, then. Mulled wine. That beer tap looks out of place. It's too shiny and modern. Looks fun, though. Right, so... Oh, what was... Hang on. There was a thing with a hand on it. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Empty bottle. Fill with wine. Nice. Thanks, Ben Reba. Alright, you, me, you sir, blind madam. bastard. I'm just a yeah. poor old blind Mold bastard with nowhere to go and nothing to eat. Spices. Talking over me. Ah, the sweet scent of Mrs. Mullins in Riverwood Red. Give it here, Pattle. Let me take a swig. <laughs> ah, by the balance that hit the spot it did. Ah, I'm you drink the whole thing? You've earned Good yourself Lord. a silver star in Blind Bob's book. Glad you liked it. It wasn't easy getting it. Without the journey, the reward is not half as sweet. That's, uh, what's her name? Uh, old chestnut round these parts. Still as true as the sky is green. Green? I had an accident with a chroma charm when I was a wee lad. Every morning blind... How many Bob accidents has this man had? The sky's a different colour. That's pretty Today, cool. it's green. That's kind of cool. All right. Hi there. Arms for a poor. Oh, ha! It's ye. What tidings of joy do you bring me this time? Tell me about Magda. Do you Magda. know where I can find Minstrel Magda? Oh, he knows her. Blind Bob does. He knows her well. Nice lady. Best sort not soup south of Lame Bastard Hill. Lame do you know where Bastard she is today? Hill. Oh, she moves around. Magda does. Ain't seen her round here in a while. You might try asking someone other than Blind Bob. Like who? I don't know anyone in the city. Well, you might have more luck asking Crazy Clara. Lives up Crab Ben, Clara does, on Hangman's Span, in view of Friar's her. Keep. <laughs> she's a fun Crazy one as well. Crazy as a turnip, Clara is. But she's also got a Scout Wing's eyes. She knows more than she lets on. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Oh, just call me theoretically. We're friends now, ye and I. Oh, Bob. Make a donation to the welfare of old blind Bob. Crazy Clara's a fun one. Let's go head down this way once more. And we'll find her down here. Lovely. And actually, having looked, just looked at the time, I think we're actually going to end this episode here. And it's a little abrupt, but uh, there's a reasonably large section coming up now, and I don't want to start it 
when we're already quite close to the end of the episode as is. So we'll just cut it off here, I think. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please feel free to leave a like down below. It does help out a great deal. And if you want to see more of this content, follow the Dreamfall series and other series that I have on the channel, then uh, subscribe and you will get daily updates of the same sort of stuff. Thank you very much once again and enjoy the rest of your morning, evening, afternoon or night, whatever you're having. Bye-bye.